Bristol allows the designer to create many different styles from simple to advanced. In this video, we'll show how to use the layers to produce this style shown here. For this demonstration, I'll be using Illustrator CC 2018. If you're not using Illustrator, the principles shown here can still be replicated in most design software. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create the color swatches that are used for this video. The RGB values are shown down below, and I'll show you how to make the first swatch. Repeat the process to make the other swatches if you're following along. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to Swatches, and I'm going to use the drop-down menu, and I'm going to click on New Swatch. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and enter the values here for the RGB. So I'm going to go ahead and enter 58, 96, and 111. Okay, that's going to give us our blue color here, which we're going to use for our background. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and click the rectangle tool. And I'm going to make a box that's 48 inches by 48 inches. I want to cover this whole background in blue for this video. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and center it on the artboard. And I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer. And I'm going to call this layer background. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and create a layer uh, that's going to have our text. So I'm going to go over here to the layers panel and I'm going to click this drop down menu and I'm going to go ahead and click new layer and then we'll hit OK. And I'm going to use the type tool here and click on this artboard and you'll notice the default is Mirrored Pro, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to Versatile Bold. And I'm also going to uh, change the height to 1 inch. And let's go ahead and type out the word Giants. Okay, I'm also going to open up the kerning here. Uh, I'm going to set it to 80. Okay, so now we've got the word giants on our artboard. Uh, the, the next goal is I'm going to go ahead and copy this layer um, six more times, uh, actually five more times, so there's six layers total. So to do that, I'm going to go to layers, again to the drop down menu, and I'm going to do duplicate layer two, and I'm going to click on layer two, copy, and just keep repeating that until I have a total of six layers. Okay, so now we've got six layers of the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and lock those layers. And the only one layer that we want that's not locked is our original layer. So we can go ahead and turn those off as well. Uh, turn off the visibility. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to uh, versatile cast bold. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select the text. And I'm gonna change the font here and I'm gonna select versatile cast bold. And this is going to be our cast shadow. Um, when I design, I like to utilize the transparency feature in Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select, uh, instead of normal, I'm going to select multiply. And I'm going to change the value to 30%. Okay, so there's our cast shadow. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, lock the layer. And I'm going to change the name to cast just for my own reference. Okay, now we'll just move on to the next layer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on visibility. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And let's go ahead and change this uh, font here from Versatile Bold to Versatile Shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my, uh, my type menu here. And I'm going to select Versatile Shadow. And this is where we're going to use the swatches that we created. So I'm going to use the teal color here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And when you do that, you want to make sure that your text is uh, selected. Okay, so now we've got the teal uh, for the shadow. Let's go ahead and repeat the process again. We're going to lock the layer. And again, I'm going to call this shadow. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to go ahead and unlock the layer. And I'm going to go ahead and select the text. And this time we're going to uh, 
change it to the highlight for the shadow. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and select highlight. Okay, now we can go ahead and change the color. So we're going to change it to the cyan color. And again, we'll just repeat the process of locking the layer. And I'm going to call this highlight. Okay, let's move on to the next layer. Uh, turn it on, um, unlock the layer. And I'm going to go ahead and select this text. And I'm going to change this one now to outline. And again, well, we're going to change the color. I'm going to use this nice tan color here. And now we can go ahead and lock the layer. And I'm going to call this layer outline. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on here. Uh, again, I'm going to turn on the layer, unlock it. And now we're going to we're going to keep this at versatile bold because this is going to be the main text, which is the base. So I'm going to go ahead and change this now to this red color. And again, lock the layer, and I'll call this layer base. And now for the last layer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, again turn on visibility, unlock, and we're going to go ahead and select the text. And we're going to change this one to. Uh, uh, versatile inside shadow and again it's, it's very stark we don't want it that strong so I'm going to apply the same value I did for the cast shadow which is going into transparency and I'm going to change it to multiply and again I'm going to choose 30 percent okay let's go ahead and change the name of the layer to inside for the inside shadow so I double click and I'm going to type inside And I'd like to uh, share just a little shortcut here. Um, let's say you type out the word, but you decide you want to change it. Uh, traditionally, you'll have to select each layer one at a time and change the text. Um, but there's a faster way to do that, and that's what I'm going to show you here. It's using uh, Illustrator's Find and Replace feature. So what I'm going to do is unlock all the layers, and I'm going to select all this text here and we'll go to edit find and replace and it's asking us what do we want to find in this case I want to find the word giants and we're going to replace that with the word signs okay so let's go ahead and tell Illustrator to find the word giants so now it's, it's got every single layer selected and we're going to tell it to replace all and we'll click OK and then done and we can go ahead and um, move this over here. So now we've got the word signs. Um, I'd like to share one more uh, layer that's included with Versatile. It's a gradient line um, effect and I think it looks really good on the letters. So let's go ahead and lock our layers. And I'm gonna select the very last layer here which is this inside shadow. So we can go ahead and duplicate inside um, I'll lock the layer and now we're going to go ahead and select uh, the text there and let's change the font to versatile lines bold okay there we go very easy and there you have it for all the effects in versatile um, I'd like to kind of share one last thing before concluding this video uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the glyphs here and we'll go ahead and change this to versatile bold so Versal has 1,462 glyphs. Um, each cell here is a glyph. And we'll go ahead and just kind of scroll through this. Don't let this number intimidate you. Uh, everything is there only if you need it. From the alternates to the small caps, uh, the diacritics. Uh, but it's just nice knowing that everything is there for you. Well, that about concludes this video. Thanks for watching.